I'm Mike Stanton. We're here with Build America Mutual at the Bomb Buyer Texas Public Finance Conference here with Greg Pacifico, mm -hmm. BAM's head of Texas. Greg, you moderated a panel this morning on the first day of the conference. You followed the Texas State Comptroller who talked about the really strong revenue connections the state has been seeing. Your panel looked more at the local government level with uh, people from the city of Houston. What did you learn? Yeah, we had a great conversation, Mike. Thank you. You know, we started off by talking about ARPA funds, how those funds have been being utilized over the past couple of years, um, and really what the projections are of the utilization of those revenues. Um, in a lot of instances, um, those fund balances have been used for recurring expenditures, um, layer in the fact that you've had very strong revenue growth, sales tax, property tax side as well, has allowed some issuers to expand their expenditure base. So. Um, a big part of our conversation was understanding, well, what's going to happen when those ARPA funds are no longer available, and then layering in some recessionary pressures, could that cause some budget imbalances for some issuers? And a lot of conversation about the fact that uh, new issuance in the municipal market through the Q1 was down more than 25 percent, um, and wondering how much longer that's going to last. Some of the pressures you're talking about could reverse that. Yeah, I think that's right. And we also spoke about IIJA. Um, I think there were a lot of uh, a lot of hope that that would stem um, some additional issuance. But what we've learned over the past six months or so um, is that there is some significant restrictions in the use of those funds and the projects uh, associated with those funds. So it really hasn't resulted um, in issuance. Um, so. Uh, yet to see what happens on the issuance front. And Emily Brock from the Government Finance Officers Association was also on your panel. One of the things uh, she raised was this idea that uh, cities that have not yet documented the spending of their ARPA money really need to get on that because there is a deadline. Uh, the funds have to be committed by the end of 2024. And so uh, she provides some really useful things for smaller cities that may not have uh, fully uh, r r you know, met all of their federal requirements. Yeah, that's right. And um, the controller of Houston, Chris Brown, uh, made an interesting comment that from an economic perspective, uh, the deadline of those ARPA funds uh, in terms of when they must be utilized could possibly coincide with um, an expectation as to when revenues could decline. So preparing for that situation is, is kind of of utmost importance um, for a municipal's budget right now. And I'm sure you're, you're and your fellow BAM analysts will be on top of it going yep. forward. So uh, thanks for your time today and uh, have a great conference. Yep. Thanks, Mike.